little bit of before and after I did all of the cleaning. I kind of wanted to show it and blend it together, but it didn't really turn out because I didn't really have a, a good lens for this to give a wide angle, but you kind of get the idea. It was a stupid amount of work, I'll say that. Yeah, a little, little shaky there. Yeah, can you hold it steady, buddy? Yeah, nice job. This is incredible watching this. I moved back to this country literally with everything I owned on my back. I had two backpacks and one little pull suitcase, and that was the extent of everything. Now look at all of this shit I have. A garage full of shit. Now, not necessarily things I want to get rid of, but <laughs> a lot of stuff all the same. Huh? Huh? Not perfect by any means, but a lot of progress was made and it feels so good to actually organize this space a bit. Of course, I want to do new things like a whole workshop bench, hanging lights and hanging places for my tools. But for now, to just get them in a place that they kind of belong and it's not just a mess everywhere, that feels really, really good. It's bittersweet not having my Corrado here. I'm just so happy that it's gone to a good home and I think he's really gonna love and enjoy the car. It's so cool. I can't wait to see what he does with it. Now, on to the closet. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Check, check this out. I was looking in his box. I was like, what in God's name is this? And the fin came off, but it was a rocket. And I was like, Glug to Glug. Oh my God, GLG20. Um, that's a reference to the movie Spies Like Us. <laughs> so this is this is pretty old. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta toss that. For some reason, a a pirate eye patch. Keep for bow. Oh, it's written on the back. Keep for bow. Bow's first pumpkin festival. He also won his first goldfish. Blackie. School of 70. Look at this. Oh, it's in my dad's handwriting too. Oh. <laughs> my dad had really distinct handwriting and uh maybe I'll keep that. I can remember that fish too. It's a good lesson for children. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's me in eighth grade. I was so happy in this picture because that summer before eighth grade, my voice had dropped and I had a really high voice as a child. Like when I would order pizza, they would say, yes ma'am, we'll have that there in about 30 minutes. And I remember one day, I said to the man, he's like, I'm not a ma'am, I'm a sir. And the guy on the other end was like, um, okay. And then I show up to eighth grade, I'm like, oh, hi, Mr. Smith. Yeah, so I was thrilled in this picture. <laughs> yeah, T ball, the tab. I didn't remember our team name being the Scorpions. Yeah. Um, that's me. You'll recognize me because I was the only white boy. Uh, yeah, little known fact about me, I, I grew up in predominantly black schools, uh, areas, and that was very confusing for me as a kid growing up, because, uh, yeah, I just, for me, I was always the minority kid growing up. That's what was normal for me. It was a real shock going to college, and I was just like, where did all these white people come from? <laughs> This one you need to see though. This was the Dodgers. I was very proud of this team and these guys. Uh, for some reason, only like one kid was allowed to smile. Look at the fierce look on this dude. Oh yeah. Now I know what you're saying. Hey Bo, there's clearly another white kid there. Yes, that's my cousin, Sam. <laughs> I've got a little twerp. Yeah, no wonder I never got a home run. insisted on using a wood bag instead of metal. I don't know. I found this. God's name. It's like a portfolio of some kind. Nothing looks familiar. Oh wait, this, yeah. I remember I did a calligraphy class. Yeah. Wow, that's some serious old English. Whoa! Did I 
do this? What? It says large man has two cows. I don't remember this ever because I did, okay, this is Darren Arnio, but I'll, I'll look this up, but uh, that looks more like rules, man. But obviously I didn't know any of Chinese at that time. This is kind of a shock to find. Is that a Chengyu, like a Chinese idiom that I just didn't know, Darren Arnio? I'll, I'll have to look that up because if it's not, that is not grammatically correct at all. Only I would go back on all my memories and be like, mm, that's not grammatically correct. Gear business. Oh, I got a C on it. <laughs> C. <laughs> you're, you're right. I probably was upset at the time, but it's really not that great. <laughs> mm. I wasn't a great student. Mm. Me and the Star World visitors. Mm. Holy shit. This is the first address that I ever lived at. We moved away from there on 75th place when I was like four. Because I remember the day that we moved. Uh, I, I have I have memories of being in this house when I was a kid, but I have never ever seen this address in print before. I'm gonna have to Google Maps this. I, this is taking way too long. I have got I've got to go and get to bed. This is ridiculous. I could be here all night. It's fun now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, one more. This is the Indianapolis News. Uh, 1982, this is in here for some reason. Uh, map of Freedom, the world according to the United States, uh, free, partly free, not free. <laughs> not so much here or here, right here, you can see. They are not free. I don't know, I just don't know. I was thinking like, okay, is there something of the family in here that happened to be in the paper and this is just part of it? Mm, not that I see. And I will finish from a picture book of God's Good Promises by Bo. Yes, let's see. Ah, God has promised us handprints. This would be the blue Kool-Aid man caught in a rainstorm. Uh, nonsense. An oblong type of circle with what appears to be an attempt of a diamond. My best friend. On how you look at that uh, could be interpreted a number of ways. I would like to go with the human lungs. Uh, those are something that I think I enjoy. Could also be part of the male reproductive system. That might also be appropriate. I don't think I need to keep this. We're, we're done here. We're done here. We're done here. Okay, one, one more. One more. I found this. This certifies that Bo Danner is recognized for Reliable Room Helper, School 70 by Mary Paul. This is why millennials are fucked up. All right, when you give awards for clearly just anything, uh, maybe they just needed to give me a pick me up, but good for you, you reliable room helper. There you are. Oh good, I'll go home and show my mommy and then over 30 years later, I'll pull it out and be so proud. That goes in the trash. Final, 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 final. Uh, certificate of recognition. This is to certify that Bo Danner is hereby awarded the certificate of recognition for active and cooperative participation in football. <laughs> Basically, uh, thanks for showing up, kid. We got this. Mm, I don't need to keep that. Either.